Hey guys, welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Uh, we just came out here. We've got some crazy wind right now, but we have a we had a three-star mature here that we were gonna take out, and I'm not sure where he's inched around to. The wind's not too bad on us as far as direction-wise, but it seems to be howling. I do not know where this guy got off to. Uh, he was right there broadside and I started recording and bam, he was gone. I don't want to make too much movement because they seem to like the, that doe, she is kind of looking our way and that makes me a little nervous. I'm not sure where he went to, unless that's him back there. That looks like a nice, a nice rack. So I would about be willing to bet that that's probably him, because I didn't see anything else too impressive in the in the herd. No, that's not him either. That's a, seems to be a one star. Young male. This buck here seems like he is just locked in on us for some reason. So I think I've got my recording issues straightened out. I've got some new software I'm trying and uh, see how all that works I'm just gonna have to figure out this whole editing thing because I am not very computer savvy I swear that does not look like if that is a young a young uh, mule deer back there in the back then he is gonna be something special that's gotta be that three star mature definitely hit him is he gonna make it out of there though oh wow that 308 I just never get tired of it so right over there somewhere he is he is not moving too fast at all and I hope I didn't mess up and shoot the wrong one but I saw that three-star mature and uh, I didn't see anything else that looked like it really had any potential in there but he just kind of shifted around on us when I was trying to start the recording <clears throat> I wouldn't um, imagine that he went much farther than the tree line because he was uh dazed and confused when he got shot our winds gonna be terrible we've been working our way down the river to the right so with the wind we're having this morning we may go up uh, the left side of the river which I guess would be kind of going north and it doesn't go too far either so we're, we may not spend a whole lot of time up here this uh, this during this video anyways I just wanted to come out and have a look at a few of them uh, and hopefully that uh, four star mature we saw down by the lake has turned into a five star look at that blood hopefully he's turned into a five star and we can uh, take our first five stars what I'm hoping for I could have swore he turned right here. He did. I 
I did bring the 7 mm 8 just so we could uh, maybe have a comparison. We shot this first one with the uh, 308, so the next deer I see if, uh, if I feel comfortable with it, we'll try it with the uh, 7 seven millimeter 08. Yep, that was three star mature, so. And that shot one, one lung, that was it. But look at the energy it's dumping into that lung in that one cavity. It's, uh, I am definitely enjoying the 308. I mean, y'all are probably tired of hearing me say that but now, but uh, it's, uh, it's became my favorite in a hurry. See if we can slide down this mountain just a little bit. Uh, it's still a little early on them, so we don't see nothing here. Just right around this flat spot here then we'll go on down to the uh, the bottom lake and see how that is those mule deer running in this direction I don't know if if they can spook other animals as well I don't I'm not sure about that but if they can then definitely uh, probably ruin this area for us for a little while so let's uh, let's fast travel down here and see what's going on Got a much better wind for this area today, though. Campfire smoke blowing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a five star today. We'll just have to check it out and see. Oh man, we done spooked some mule deer. Great. But see, that's kind of what I'm talking about too with the, uh, how you can spook them so easily. I mean, those were 150 meters away. I'm crouching and I have I mean, a good wind, really. So, I'm not sure. Maybe I stepped on a twig, who knows. There seems to be always a good amount of deer right here that they use this little uh, holler to go from the... Uh, from the lake back up toward the mountain that's I've killed several deer up here you know uh, coming from the lake or going to the lake and I've had sometimes where I would have whitetails and mule deer kind of passing one another in this area
So I'm going to uh, mess around here and see if I can get on them. All right, guys, we're back out here, and uh, we're going to try this 308 out on a young moose. He's at about 200, so we never could get back on our white tail, so this is what we're into now. Looks good to me. <clears throat> but it may not kill it. I don't know. Or it may do it. How about that? So, uh, I guess we will uh, go see how the 308 did on the uh, moose. Clearly it killed him. been really impressed by this gun so far uh, I don't know what happened to our whitetails uh, I don't know if there's a such thing in this game as pressure or or anything like that but we had a fairly decent wind down at the lake but I stayed down there well past the drink time and never did get a, uh, a mule deer or a whitetail to come in so I don't know hopefully it was just a funky day for them um, we got that one nice mule deer down there right by the lodge. I even went back up to the lodge, and uh, I just never could get on them. So I don't know what uh, what's going on with them. I hope they're not messed up because I've been having a really good time down there. But it also concerns me that I've already went through the the – another day cycle and that was a four star mature so I don't want him to die off on us so I'll probably after we pick this moose up I'm gonna go back down there and scope it out one more time it's still like 10 21 in the game I stayed down there till about 9 45 10 o'clock I just had came up here and spawned to that tent right over there, and uh, or the campsite, and, and this moose and two cows was standing out in the river to drink. I just thought that had the idea we might as well try the 308 on the moose. So we got uh, one lung and about a quarter of the other one. Two hundred and thirteen meters out. Really good shot. Uh, yeah, he had bad genetics, anyways. Let's see. So he uh, he ran a hundred and sixteen meters. So I don't see that would be a problem. I mean, if you want to hunt moose with the three hundred eight, then you know, if you got clean broadside shots then there's nothing to worry about there something spook in there some them dead barren meese okay wow I can't get my binoculars out or anything what's going on there we go I don't know what that was all about I just wanted to kind of I've killed a couple of nice moose up in this area so just kind of take a little look make sure nothing was out but I think we'll run back down and check out our other spot and see if maybe we can find something all right, finally, guys. I don't think you realize how long I've been trying to find a deer, but it has been a while. What the what? Hey, for some reason, it's not letting me spot him now, but he is a uh, three-star mature. I can tell you that about him. <coughs> and... Um, We'll go ahead and, and if 
if we can get a shot on this guy, we'll take it with a 7 millimeter 08. It's weird because I only see the one deer. I wish it would let me spot him again. top of this little rise here I'm going to stop I feel like it'd be a pretty fair distance to take him from that's a terrible angle and I just can't get a good a good look at him. I don't want to take a shot like that. I mean, maybe. Uh, Man, it looked like uh, we were set a little low, but it looked like that deer just went a little ways and fell over. I'm not sure if he did or he didn't, but we will find out. Like he had a nice rack on him as well. We're hunting this river front that's uh, right in front of the uh, cabin. But what we had to do, we had to spawn in down here and come up this way since the wind was so bad. Yeah, we got a good shot on him. Get air bubbles, blood. keep our eyes open in case we see anything else it's been a, a bit of a hunt but the wind has been really loud today too so that could have something to do with it <clears throat> we're getting plenty of blood out of this old guy Seems like every time I have blood go around a tree, I have a hard time. I, so there's a little drop of blood there on that pine cone too. And he turned back on us. And how much did he turn back? Hmm. Now we have uh, fallen off the blood here, so I'm going to backtrack to right here again, and we've got blood, boom, to right here, to this tree. 
Now I have some carnage. And this one just looks about as straight on as it could be right through here. Looks right over here. And I uh, believe our buck is... Well, I might have spoke too soon. I thought he was laying right there, but... All right, let's backtrack to this wood and make sure we're going the right way. So, kind of right up through here. Head here. I'm assuming that he just went straight across the creek here, so hopefully it'll be... to pick it up over here somewhere. There we go. So now we're going this way. Here has got to be dead right here somewhere. Oh, geez. We had air bubbles in it. I'm going to have to end up going back and backtracking to find this wood once again. Okay, so we're going to be able to see the difference. We'll see what kind of shot we made. I'm hoping uh, the with the distance he ran and that it was just a single lung. Because if that was a double lung, it's quite a... Uh, and it was a double lung. I mean, we was back on him, but we hit both lungs. And uh, that's what I'm saying. The 308 all day, every day, man, in this game. it's uh, We wouldn't have tracked him 138 meters for sure. But we will uh, see if we can find another one and maybe shoot one more with the 308. We shot a moose with the 308, and it didn't run as far as that white tail did. I don't think. I may have to go back and look at it. But anyways... Uh, I don't know. I like the 7mm 08. Don't get me wrong, but it's one of those guns that there's no room for air in this game with that gun. You're going to want to uh, at least hit double lung every time. With the 308, you can pull off a little bit more risky shots, and honestly, when you're hunting in these trees like this, you need all the help you can get. Because uh, it, it's pretty realistic. I mean, the deer are just doing their own thing. And they're stopping behind trees. And they're in brush. You need a gun that's going to knock some blood out of them. But we'll get on around through here and find us one more to shoot with the 308 before it's all over anyways. Alright, guys. I just kind of wanted to uh, come back and give a few of my thoughts here on uh, the day we tried out the uh, 7 millimeter 08 or the 308 some more we took down a moose with it with uh, not really any problem at all I know these guys are going to fly I don't have anything to shoot them with though. Um, and the other thing that's got me thinking is the wind has been extremely strong during this game, you know, during the time I've been recording today. I went back and done our normal runs as far as the deer, but I only killed the one white tail out of a drink zone. I, I'm assuming he was in a drink zone. All of our other 
places we've been killing the the lake uh down at diamond drill uh the river right outside the lodge <laughs> i killed the one whitetail on the river outside the lodge but i had to come in from a different direction which was fine but that was the only buck i saw it was the only deer i saw um my game has crashed two times today but I'm wondering if maybe the crash has something to do with my populations because I hunted the same times, uh, the same places. We actually had a really good wind for the lake, but we didn't have a good wind for the river, but we fixed that by coming in from the, the campsite. So I've hunted, you know, my whole life and, uh, in real life so the thing that i've noticed is you know a lot of times if it was real windy we always hunted in the woods we didn't do a lot of field hunting or anything so a lot of times uh if the wind was b blowing pretty hard we wouldn't even go uh because you it just seemed like you didn't see much of anything if the wind was blowing hard which but with that being said I uh, went hunting with my grandfather one morning, and the wind was blowing, I mean, crazy hard. I got up my stand. I had a climbing stand, and we sat until, I don't know, maybe about 10 o'clock, but about 9.45 or so, I was getting ready to come down. I texted my grandfather and told him that, you know, the wind was just blowing too hard. I was ready to get out of there, I mean. You could hear little limbs breaking off and stuff like that, hunting around a lot of pine trees. and <coughs> So, <coughs> excuse me, when I had uh, turned around to get out of my stand, there was an eight-pointer. It was the second biggest buck I've ever killed in my life, and he was probably, I don't know, 20 yards from me at the most. He was about to walk right up under my stand. And I ended up shooting him. But the wind was blowing so hard. I never heard him coming in or anything. Which, I mean, it's kind of hard to hear him walking on pine needles anyways. But, uh, so, the one deer I've killed in my life with the wind blowing hard, it was a really nice one. So, what I'm wondering is, would the... How everything's so real on this game, do you think that the wind or the weather is going to affect us seeing our herds or, or not? Because I've been looking at these deer probably five, six game days, some of them, and it wasn't like just one or two herds were gone. They were all just, they weren't there. I found the one white tail. I shot him. But I didn't see, an, I didn't even see another deer with him. So I came back down here, and there's a big pine thicket right, be, right behind the camp uh, side. I'll show you when we get across this noisy river. Uh, there's a big pine thicket there, and you know, deer like to bed in pine thickets, um, or at least around where I'm from, they do, and when I was coming through the pine thicket, there was a, we jumped up a massive herd of whitetail right here. Somewhere in this area, and they run back over toward the river here. But, uh, so I'm just wondering, I mean, with the wind, we're, we're going into their, their bedding time right now, but I mean, is, is strong wind going to affect them getting out and about? Because... We jumped up probably 15, 20 deer coming through the pine thicket, and look at the fields. There's nothing, and, and there's a huge bedding zone right in front of this stand for whitetail that says it's used often. Uh, I've seen deer in it one, one or two times, but it's hard to see them in it because the way you come into the stand... And there's no way, it's so close to the stand, you're not going to climb the, the stand without spooking them. So you would have to be here before they got here. But usually, when I come to this spot, there's a mule deer, 
a badger, a fox. I killed a couple of fox out of this field. Uh, but I'm not seeing nothing. I don't know if if it's my game or if it's the weather. I hope it's not something messed up in the game or something that I've done caused too much pressure. So I don't know. But I sure hope all those deer come back that's down there at Diamond Drill because there is some nice bucks in them. We killed two bucks out of Diamond Drill on here, and one of them was in a the field uh, feeding. They hadn't made it to their uh, drink drink time yet, but there's just nothing out here. I was hoping to get, you know, a view of one more deer, but I, try, I was trying to make a video for the... Uh, for the, um, with this new software, because maybe it'll give y'all a little better picture to look at, but I don't know. Y'all tell me, what do you think? Do you think it's the weather? Do you think I've caused too much pressure, or maybe my game crashed and all my animals died at one time spontaneously? I don't have a clue. Let me know if any of y'all have come across anything like this, and Please like and subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you later.